guys, welcome to today's video. Today is an exciting one. You've asked for it. I've wanted to do it for the past year. So here it is. It's my makeup declutter. I'll try and keep this introduction as short and sweet as possible because I want to be putting the same introduction in for every single makeup declutter. Um, so yeah, I'll leave a timestamp down here somewhere if you want to skip ahead to the declutter, if you've already seen this introduction. If you haven't, because it's the first one or it's the first one you've seen, welcome. We're going to be doing a makeup declutter, going through every single item that I own and choosing if I want to keep it or not. I have purchased, I would say, a healthy 97% of my makeup, maybe 95, 95% of my makeup by myself. So of course, I'm not going to be as ruthless as people who get PR because um, I've bought the makeup myself for a reason. It's my hard-earned cash that's been spent on it. I don't want to be minimalistic. All I want to do is refine my collection nicely so I know what I've got, so that I can open my drawers and not feel overcrowded. I definitely feel overcrowded at the moment. I don't declutter my makeup. I haven't done previously, so here we go into the makeup declutter. Everything that I will be getting rid of is either going to family and friends, um, or in the bin if it's yucky, disgusting and old, you know, like cream products dry out and are disgusting. So it won't be going to waste, don't worry. Um, I do apologise, but I will not be doing giveaways or sending it to people, so please don't comment down saying send it to me, because I just don't feel comfortable doing that and also it, it just becomes a little bit complicated and personally I've got enough family and friends to distribute my makeup around to so it won't go to waste. Don't worry it will not go to waste um, if you're thinking about that but like I said I won't be doing an absolute ruthless declutter but I wouldn't declutter enough to feel like I can breathe again so like I said I'm going to try and keep this short and sweet so let's get into the makeup declutter. So this is the primer drawer. I don't think I've ever seen something so ridiculous in all of my life. Like, what the hell is this? I actually have oils going all the way down here in separate little caddies, but oh my god, there shouldn't be this much in here. I need to seriously, seriously, seriously get rid of a lot here. Um, yeah, let's just empty it all out and then put it all back in, just as we always do with these videos, because this situation stresses me out, because I can't even see through it. <laughs> Okay, let's just start with saying that all of these oils are something I'm going to keep. The only thing that isn't an oil is my Mary Badescu drying lotion. Love this for spots, absolute keeper. Um, to be honest, I want to just keep all of these oils. I love oils. I even have four backups of the Dr. Botanicals, um, what is this even called? The Moroccan Rose Superfood Facial Oil. It is this one here absolutely love it well, it's free in a box and then the box was like half price so i literally bought four of the boxes just to get the oil because it's like a 50 pound oil so um the oils <laughs> the oils i'm just gonna keep because i'm a dry skin girl i love oil and to be honest it's all expensive and i want it all the first thing i'm going to pass on is the nivea men sensitive post shave balm this i've actually got a size of this right here i actually have it's like half empty well or half full however you wish to view it um i don't need two of them because i literally it, this one's only half full so i want to pass this one on to my dad my brother something someone i don't need it it's full why did i buy another one i don't know i am going to keep all of my pro base banana blur primers from MUA. this is the primer that i use for foundation nation so <laughs> i'm gonna keep that and then keep the backups back here I love these primers, these are the L'Oreal Infallible or Lumi Magique, they're exactly the same but different packaging so you know whatever. Um, they're just basically a pearlized finish, they're really really pretty and underneath the foundation they just look stunning because it's so like, luminous and gorgina. I love it, real Tin Man vibes but underneath the foundation, trust me, it's beautiful and you can mix them in with foundations which I've done in the past, it's a keeper. Another keeper is the Pro Base Softening Facial Oil Stick by MUA. Bloody love this. It's basically the dupe for the milk makeup thing. It's like an oil balm. Bloody love it. If my skin is ever really dry, I sometimes apply this all over the face. Kind of leave it on for a few minutes, wipe it all off, then put my foundation on. It just really hydrates my face. Um, but something that I'm going to have to get rid of is the Pro Base Soothe and Cool Primer Stick. Can you see that that's like shriveled up? It's like one of the, you know, when a Pritt stick gets dry and it shrivels up. <laughs> um, it's gonna have to go in the bin I think unfortunately but these are only like three quid so I might repurchase this 
Um, one I'm not really too sure about is the Pro Base Soothe and Set Blur Stick. This is supposed to like fill pores, it is very blurring. Um, I might keep this. Something I'm going to get rid of is the Revlon Photo Ready Primer. I've just never been a fan of this. I could never get on board with this, so I'm going to get rid of it. Pass it on to a friend, whatever. Something I'm going to keep because I have nearly finished up is the Soap & Glory Bright & Pearly Radiance Boosting Cocktail. Like, look how much I have left of this. Practically nothing. So I'm going to keep it and just use it up. A primer that I'm absolutely a lover of is a Luna Makeup Primer. This is so silky smooth and if the camera's going to focus any day soon. Um, it's just really, really beautiful. It's just like a, an oily serum, but it's not oily at all. It's just so hydrating. I love it. It's going to be kept. Another one I'm keeping is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I bloody hate this primer so much. Um, it never looks good on me. It never looks good on me, but I'm going to keep it because it was literally 20 odd quid and I ain't throwing this out. This one is going to go in the bin. I've had this for so long. This is a Rimmel London Fix and Perfect Primer. I've probably had this plus five years and it just needs to go. So it's going to go in the bin. This is the Smashbox Primerizer. I've got the little mini travel size of this. Um, the camera's going to focus. My camera never focuses when I'm doing these videos. But uh, yeah, it's just like a really nice primer. I haven't got the full size of it, but I'm going to continue to use it because I don't know if I actually like it that much for the full size, but it's a nice one. I want to keep it. I want to pass on the Bourjois Happy Light Base Serum. This is basically just an illuminating sort of primer. It's supposed to just make your skin look really glowy, but to be honest, I never use it and the camera's still not focusing. But uh, I want to pass it on. I don't really want it anymore. I'm going to also get rid of this Fix and Rouge one. It's a uh, HD matte veil. Bloody hate it. Never have liked it. I'm going to pass it on. I'm going to keep this gigantuous professional by benefit i don't like this primer um you can see there's a running theme with this i don't like this primer but i like it in pea-sized amounts literally on my pore like i know that is supposed to sort of reduce the appearance of pores but i don't like this all over the face i like it just either side of the nose i don't know why i bought such a massive tube of it it's pathetic how big this is but uh, i'm gonna just keep it i'm also gonna keep the spackle under makeup primer this is just like a good little primer it's only like dinky size so i could probably pan this I'm going to get rid of the um, Infallible Mattifying Base Primer by L'Oreal. I don't really want a mattifying base. I want a hydrating base, so I'm going to pass this on. I'm going to keep my J1 Jelly Pack Primer. This is actually the smaller size of it, but it was still literally like 15 quid for this tiny little thing. So I'm going to keep this. I actually really, really like this. It's kind of similar to the Milk Hydro Grip, but uh, yeah, I'm going to keep that. I'm going to pass on the Barry M Primer um, or Priming Stick. This is a little bit too thick for me. Um, it's probably really good if you've got oily skin because it literally mattifies like no one's business. But for me, with dry skin, it's just not very good. I'm going to keep this Avant uh, Pro Perfecting Collagen Primer. I haven't used it, but it's just basically very expensive. I didn't buy it, but I got it in a glossy box. But it's nice and moisturising, so I want to keep it. I'm going to keep the Green Tea Primer, the Prep and Protect Vegan from E. I I think it is. I'm not really too sure what it's called. E oh, Evo. Evo Beauty Group. I have no idea. I don't know, but I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep my Becca First Light Priming Filter. This is actually really, really nice. So it's going to set and it's just like a nice little primer. So I'm going to keep that. I'm going to get rid of my Soap & Glory Hocus Focus uh, Primer. It's essentially just an illuminating primer. Very, very similar to the Lumi Magique and the Infallible one. It's, it's lovely. Um, it truly is. But I've had it for so long and I don't know. Meh. It's nice, it smells nice. I might just pass it on to a friend to see if they want it because it is it is pretty, but I don't really want it anymore. I'm going to get rid of this. This is the Maybelline Baby Skin. Um, I'm just going to throw it away now. I've got the big uh, Professional, so I don't need another one. I'm just going to get rid of this. I used to use the hell out of this. used to love it, but I'm very dry, so it doesn't really suit me anymore. I've got two of these. I've got a backup as well as this one that I'm currently using. It's the Sport FX Cool Down Primer and Recovery Gel. This is sensational to apply all over the face if you get redness. This cools you down. It's like a minty, fresh feeling all across your face. Kind of uncomfortable. I won't lie to you. Kind of uncomfortable. Kind of feels like you've got ice all over your face, but um, it does an amazing job at actually combating redness. So I love this one. We've also got a backup. We'll keep it back here. I think I'm going to get rid of this. I'm not too sure. This is the Sleek Bear Kiss Illuminator in Monaco. Um, it's like a pinkier shade. Oh, great. Where did that go? It's like a pinkier colour. I mean, it is It is very beautiful. Um, uh, yeah, maybe. I've actually only got one of those from a different brand. So yeah, maybe I'll keep that. 
I've got the Too Faced Hangover RX primer. Bloody love this. Love the smell of it. So I'm going to keep it. I have the Bourjois Healthy Mix uh, primer. Haven't used this yet. I really want to try this. So I'm going to keep that one. Oh, I have another Banana Pro Base, which means that's a backup. I'm going to keep that one. Um, and I've also got the Moisturising Primer, which is really, really nice. These are really affordable. Really, really lovely. I want to keep it. I also have the Pro Base Oil Free Primer. Oil Free Primer. This might be good. For Lily, a lightweight soothing primer ideal for oily skin. I don't have oily skin, so I'm going to pass it on to Lily. I have another one of those green tea primers, but it's a backup because I've got a little green dot over the thing, but that's a backup. I have the This Works in Transit Camera Close Up Primer. This is really nice. It's very, uh, like, um, but it's like soothing, like moisturizing, but it also kind of blurs as well. I really like this one. And I have a backup of it apparently as well. Sometimes I get these free in boxes, so. Don't think that I'm buying this. Oh my God, hang on, we need to sort what's going on back here. It's crazy. I also have the Primark Vitamin Primer. This is actually really, really nice. It just makes you, your skin feel really replenished and just like, you know, nice and vitaminized. Um, and I have a backup of it as well. So keep, uh, keep. I have the Primark Radiant Primer. Again, this is one of those pearlized finishes. Really, really nice, very pearly. I actually prefer this one to this one. I'm gonna keep this one and throw away this one, not throw away, but pass this one on. I have the MUA uh, Hydro Primer. This is actually really cool, really like it, apart from, I don't want it anymore. Like I've used quite a significant amount. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see how much I've used. I've used quite a significant amount of it. It is really cool. It's like a jelly primy, primy, primer. It's like all jellyish. Um, really, really pretty, but I don't want it anymore. I've got so many hydrating primers. I don't want this one. I've got the Anne Sue one. I haven't tried this out yet. I've got this in a, like a beauty box or something. So I need to try this out. I haven't tried it yet. And the same goes for this Inner Masca one. I haven't tried this one out either, but this is like the priming jelly pot as well. So I'm gonna try this one out. I need to just try some of these primers out to be honest. I've got the Arc Skin Essential Skin Protector, uh, like SPF 30 primer. Love this. However, the pump is broken, which means like the, the tube itself came off. So I don't really know what to do about this. I need to sort of sort myself out. I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do. So uh, I might keep it and then try and figure something out. All these little mini Lorac primers need to go. Oh wait, that's not a, that's a lip primer. I'll keep that. The Lorac primers need to go. These are for your eyes. Um, these are so old. I got them with my Lorac palette. Uh, yeah, they need to go. I just have so many. Like it's getting a bit pathetic. Like I don't even use these. So yeah, they're gonna go. I am gonna keep my little Urban Decay samples of the Primer Potion. I've got Original Eden Anti Aging and Sin, and the same in this one. These are quite old, but because they're in like foil packaging, I feel like you know, I can get away with it. Like, they're in foil packaging. So, I'm gonna keep these. I'm also gonna keep my Magnifies Rimmel London Eye Base as well. I'm gonna keep that. Um, I'm gonna get rid of my Saving Glory It's About Prime Eyeshadow Under Base. Don't really like this one. It's a little bit too pearly for my liking. And to be honest, how many eye primers does one person need? I usually use concealer. So, keep it in Rimmel London, but get rid of the Saving Glory. I'm also going to get rid of the MUA Bright and Lighten Eye Primer. I just don't use it. Um, it's a lovely, lovely consistency, but I don't really use eye primers that often, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. Um, this is an eye primer I will be keeping, but just because I've nearly finished it. It's the number seven smoothing and brightening eye base. This is actually, you could use it as a concealer, but it's just basically a pink, like a pink toned concealing eye primer. It's just a really nice consistency and it just cancels out any veins and stuff. So yeah, I mean, I've nearly finished it now. Like it's, it's hip pan, so I'm just gonna use this up. I'm gonna get rid of this MUA Pout Prime Smoothing Lip Primer. To be honest, I just don't use it. I just don't use it. It's it's just a bit weird. I want to just throw it away. I don't know anyone that would actually like this. So, yeah, I'm going to throw it away. I'm going to keep all three of my Paul and Joe primers. Um, I think two of them are the same. One of them is different. I couldn't actually tell you because it's all in, like, some sort of Korean language. I have no idea. Maybe it's all the same. Who knows? But they're primers. And... I have them. <laughs> I've got a little baby size of the professional, but in the glowy format, so I'm gonna keep that. I've got the No Problem Priming Water by Touch and Soul. Apparently this is amazing, so I'm gonna keep that. I love this Glam Glow one. This is the Glam Glow Starter Nude Glow Primer. It's kind of like a more glowy iridescent type, so I'm gonna keep that. I'm also gonna keep, or should I say finish up this professional. It's tiny, um, just like the other one, but I'll just use it up and use it because it's, yeah, it's quite easy to use up. 
I got the Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing Primer. This is actually quite nice. It like, just gets rid of pores basically, but it's so small as well. I need to use it up. I need to make more effort to use up tiny little primers like this because they do my head in. I have the Balance Me Instant Lift Primer. Um, I don't know if this camera is actually even focusing anymore, but uh, it's 99% natural. It's very nice, but it's not my gig, so I'm going to pass this on. I also have the Bare Minerals Skin Longevity Vital Power Infusion Skin, like, I don't know. I think this is more of a serum, so I probably should put this in the serum area. Um, I also have the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow and, wait, isn't that? Oh, no, it's a primer. Wonder Glow Primer and the Hourglass Veil Primer. I really want to try these out. I still haven't done that, but I need to do that. Um, and then we get onto like moisturizers and serums. So we've got the Full Throw Rainfall Serum, which is hyaluronic acid. We've got a, a moisturizer for your face. I might just keep that on top. Um, and then we've got some SPFs. We've got the Ryman, Ryman P20. Really, really like this one. And the Mimi Tika SPF 50 for the face. So we keep that. Um, and then we've got the Monu Skin Skin Perfecting Line Smoothing uh, Instant Blur Technologies. It's actually really, really nice. So I can keep that. Uh, a nip and fab moisturizer was in here but i'm going to keep that on top of my sort of desk area and then finally i have my palmer's cocoa butter skin therapy oil this is actually really nice it's really good for my legs and butt area because i have very dry skin and stretch marks delightful i know but here we go it's that's life um and i'm going to put this in a different drawer because it's too tall and i don't want to lie it down in case it leaks so put this in a different drawer i have no idea how to tackle this i just know that i want my smoothing primers like the pore filling ones separated I want the hydrating and radiating ones, like the radiant ones separated. And I just want like the like the, the hydrating ones separated as well. So oh my god, let's just let's just do this. I mean, I know it's not perfect, and I know it probably still looks quite messy, but I feel like primers are one of those things, like tubey things, just not easy to organise, they don't stand up, they don't require a slot of their own, they're just irritating things, I don't really like, I mean I love primer, but I don't like organising primer, I hate the straw out of everything else, but it, it is what it is, it doesn't look very tidy at all, does it really, but what are you going to do, what are you going to do? I have lip primers and eye primers at the front here. I also have my pore primers here, so like my smoothing bases, my pore professional. I then have all of my illuminating primers just here, apart from this one. It's more of a hydrating one, but it's so big it won't go anywhere else. Um, but these are all like my luminous ones, so ones that give me more of a pearly finish. Um, these are the ones that are like hydrating, vitamin-y sort of, kind of just a primer, if that makes any sense. These are the ones that are more like... Um, I don't know, a bit more like sticky, a little bit more like uh, thicker, 
kind of thicker in consistency and thinner in consistency I, I don't know if that makes any sense and then these are all of the like the oilier ones or the SPF ones or and like a serum you know the primerizers back here so I don't know I don't know if that makes any sense I don't know if all the oils and then I've got all the oils up here I don't know if that makes sense or not but to me it kind of does and I don't know it just kind of stresses me out I need to just use some of this stuff up I think and just condense it down to one half but uh, that'll do for now let's have a look at all the products I've decluttered I got rid of 13 primers which I don't think is too too bad some of them are brand new some of them I have not used in a while some of them are good but just not what I want anymore so yeah 13 primers not too bad um, not great but to be honest I just need to use a lot of these up and stop buying more primer it's becoming an issue I don't need any more I don't need any more oils either but yeah I'm pretty happy with how this looks so that was it hopefully you've enjoyed today's declutter was there anything that you saw that you've tried or you haven't tried are you intrigued about something comment it down below let's talk about the makeup how well did you think I did obviously I'm filming this before I'm decluttering so I don't know how well that I've done in this declutter it could have all been terrible but comment down below how well did I do today with whatever I decluttered how well did I do please tell me thank you guys so much for watching I really really do appreciate it thumbs up if you enjoy makeup declutters and I will know to kind of maybe do it as a yearly basis a massive series every year perhaps by hitting the thumbs up i know if you want me to proceed with the makeup to clutter and i'll just cut it short if you guys don't like it it's absolutely fine so let me know with the thumbs up and down if you do enjoy this sort of video and i'll be sure to sort of take that information in and you know follow it subscribe if you have not already and ring my bell because then you'll be notified of all the videos i upload i upload every single week and you wouldn't want to miss out on any more content from me would you no. No is the answer. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.